Hi everybody, uh, today we're going to be demonstrating how to upgrade a 128K Color Computer 3. Uh, the Color Computer 3 um, uh, is, a, uh, is a home computer from the 1980s. Um, uh, this was my home computer uh, growing up. Um, I'm a huge fan of it. I still, I still use it every day. And uh, I, uh, about a year ago I purchased this, which is the Cloud9 um, uh, triad 512k uh, memory module and you see it's uh, it looks uh, pretty pretty simple to uh, just pop the chip in and uh, and you go forward so the first thing we're gonna need to do is uh, pop open the case second thing we're gonna need to do is remove the memory um, then we'll add this thing in and then close it up and then we'll power it up and see how it works so uh, uh, stay tuned and uh, we'll get started here in a second okay the next step uh, in the process is we have to remove the bolts. So I'm gonna flip the Color Computer 3 over. And specifically, uh, we have to move, remove a screw from here, 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 um, here, and these two. So I've already taken the liberty of removing the screws from the top two and the bottom two. And these are, these are the screws for that. So I'm going to continue on. And unfortunately, you see there's a uh, warranty label here. So I guess if I if I remove it, I'll be voiding my uh, warranty. So um, here it goes. And now that the screws are removed, we should be able to lift off the top cover. Now we look into the case here without, without its cover, and we see the memory chips that we're going to need to be removing. And then there's another step here that will come up uh, where we have to crimp off uh, one of the uh, one of the pieces here. And so uh, with that, uh, we'll move to the next step. Okay, the next step is to remove the, there's four 4464 DRAM chips um, that are part of the Coco 3 here. So this one here, this one here, this one here, and this one here need to be removed. Um, in the, uh, the Cloud9 and Coco YouTube video, uh, they have a memory extractor uh, that I don't have, so I'm simply using uh, a really thin, um, uh, a really thin uh, flathead uh, screwdriver. And I'm gonna, if you see here, there's a little spot that you can go ahead and get underneath. And if you go gently enough, you can, you can pop it open. I get those started and then I use a bigger screwdriver to get all the way underneath to lift them out. And I'll put them right here. Next one go all the way underneath, lift it out. Next one all the way underneath, lift it out. And so these are the four, they're called 4464 uh, DRAM chips that are in the 128K Coco 3. And you see that here. And so these four need to be removed. The next thing in the step is going to be, you're going to have to clip um, C65, which is here. And you're going to need to clip C66, which is here. 
So with that, I'm going to take a little crimping tool and So that's removed and then you have to remove the one on C66. And obviously my cribbing tool won't get down there so uh, I'm just going to push on them until they disconnect. I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to take a uh, little puff of air and remove the debris here. But uh, the next step will be um, doing our SRAM ships. Okay, now that I got that cleaned up and you see the part was there was, was uh, gone. So now I'm going to add the memory. And these pins will go on this bank and then these pins will go on this bank. So I'm going to See if everything aligns. It's in. It was uh, actually pretty simple. <laughs> All right, next step is to button it up and uh, plug it in. So uh, one thing that is interesting is they did send a uh, 512K badge for the case. And uh, I'll open that up here in a second. Uh, and then once I get the, the, the case back on, I'll uh, replace that. So I'll take a pause okay, here. Okay, I got the case back on now. And you see here, what they even, Cloud9 even provided us is a badge to replace the 128K with 512K. So I'm going to remove, remove the 512K decal and then, um, and then I'm going to add I could get it undone here. is now a 512k machine. Impressive. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna put the screws in, which uh, uh, I think that's pretty boring to uh, record. And then after that, uh, we are going to uh, power it on and try it out. So here we go after this. 
Hey everybody, now that we have the Triad memory upgrade installed, um, I'm going to try out some videos or some uh, video games that have not worked uh, due to the fact that I was only using 128K Color Computer 3. So I'm going to turn on my multi-pack interface and I've got the Coco SD, SDDC um, system running. And I'm also using um, uh, an adapter uh, to run it on my monitor here. So as you can see, there's a game here called pitfall.bas. And so I'm going to load that up. Turn the volume up. And it's going to ask me if I have a RGB analog color monitor. I'm going to say yes. And then I'm going to say uh, press jump to start. And you can see it's loaded up. And it plays pretty good. So I want to give a shout out to the folks over at Cloud9 for uh, this uh, this Triad memory upgrade, and um, and it works flawlessly. Uh, thanks for the directions; it was straightforward and a great piece of engineering. So with that, uh, if you want to see any more Tandy related videos, I'm gonna uh, um, I'm gonna be doing a uh, uh, Tandy 1000 HX uh, upgrade. Uh, in my next video, but uh, I appreciate it. Uh, go ahead, uh, hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more videos. With that, thank you very much. <laughs>